All right, I'm back. We got nothing but a little bit of H2O today. <laughs> I went hard the last couple days, man. A couple, tied it on a couple days back to back. So, nothing but water today. I've been a lot of hydrating today. We had like a charity benefit Friday night at um, my local tap room, the owners there. Um, son got some sort of um, sickness or illness or whatever injury and um, to help them with their medical bills we went ahead and or they they threw like a like a charity thing um, where they did like a taco feed and then like a certain amount of each pint went towards uh, the charity so that was pretty cool and then the following day um, they had like a soft opening for a new brewery in town. So it was just like back to back. I, I was spending money and, and supporting those guys. So busy weekend, but today just a lazy day, recovery day. We are going to be using AA Shavings Wapiti. And uh, Wapiti, you can see kind of uh, overlooking the forest there, the mountain with all the evergreen trees. We got the uh, the lake front right here on the bottom, and then kind of faded to the background is some large elk antlers. Very, very cool label. Um, reminds me of where I live up here in Washington, um, the great Northwest. Beautiful label. Um, I That's right up my alley. <clears throat> There's a look at the soap there. You can see where I scooped some I scooped it smooth it's a it's a firm soap but not so firm you can't easily press into it uh, nothing else on the label no side labels or under labels um, it pretty much just tells you four ounces of shave soap right there so not too bad not too bad um, would like to see the ingredients put somewhere um, Another thing I wanted to showcase, um, this one was sent to me with a, a, a shaving uh, soap scoop on the underside. Let me peel that off real quick. So a certain amount of um, the AA a shaving soaps, you can get lucky and find this guitar pick, which you can use to scoop your, uh, your soap into your shave bowl if you are a... Uh, bowl loader Put that tape to the side. Let's get this shave on the road We got this lather already whipped up right now in my Thirsty Badger shave bowl Beautiful bowl out of Canada with the black white and red Very nice really easy to whip up a lather um, With that and then we got our Trotter Handcrafts brush, which is um, just like uh, AA Shaving, Trotter Handcrafts is also out of Washington State. So just a beautiful pour with the uh, blue, black, and smoky gray. Then we got the T1 Badger Knot on top. Um, I also added one of these little bad boys these are the menthol dots from vanule so you can see where i took one off loaded it into the bowl and this is the double menthol strength so there's there's the back and they're basically they're basically just a small dot of shave soap with unscented but just with a, a double dose of menthol in it so you can incorporate that into your shave and it'll give off, you know, a little bit of menthol cooling. We're also going to use today the Murphy & McNeil Frost Rune, which is a cooling pre-shave bar. And so this is just a little puck of pre-shave with menthol in it. Let's go ahead and wet the face and get this shave on the road. Um, you know, I should have wrote down the scent notes for Wapiti. Um, 
or at least I probably have them in my notes somewhere, but I don't have time to go digging them out now. Uh, I've already done a review on Wapiti. At the time, it was just kind of like a uh, like a pre-sale sample or pre-release sample. Um, but I do go over the full scent notes there. So if you want to see that, you could always look that up and watch that video. I didn't have the full tub with the artwork and everything. So that's why I'm doing this shave here. Because this one does have the, um, the full release tub and everything. Really easy to apply this menthol pre-shave there. Go ahead and just wet the fingers and kind of work work that soap into a lather. I find if you work your pre-shave soap into a lather it incorporates into your shave soap lather um, effortlessly. It also kind of activates the menthol because when it's just kind of, when it's just that soap, like, resting on your skin, it's not necessarily, like, being warmed up and, and broke down, like, when you add water to it. So, I recommend, you know, just getting your fingertips wet and working it into kind of a, a proto-lather. And then we'll just grab some of this and we will add it to the add it to the mix so the the mental aid pre-shave alone gives it like a very low level entry level menthol cooling so I'd say that you know the the frost rune mental aid pre-shave is is very much so beginners menthol um, very approachable it's not the the eye squinting, making you cry levels of menthol. It's just very low level, adding a um, a really nice uh, kind of refreshing cooling effect on the skin. I have a couple days growth here, probably two, two or three. I don't know. I can't remember what my last shave was. This lather looks absolutely fantastic. I know Austin has worked really hard on his formula and uh, I think he has a soap base to be proud of now. It, you know, handled the addition of that double menthol dot very well some soaps kind of break down when you add uh, when you add additional menthol to it because I don't know what it is about menthol but it definitely doesn't like help the stability of the soap I don't know I don't know what what it is about it there's something about it that that breaks down the soap um, especially if you have kind of like an inferior soap base but AA shaving soap base held up effortlessly. We are going back to the Asylum Shave Works. This is their injector razor. A really handsome razor, good looking design. Uh, I like the handle. It's got good knurling to it. And then the head is very uh, shallow and, and nimble. The whole razor itself has a lot of heft to it though. So Definitely light pressure is key. And also what I found about this uh, Asylum Injector is it has kind of a, like a narrow sweet spot, a narrow shave angle. Or maybe I shouldn't say a narrow shave angle. Um, a narrow sweet spot where your where your optimal shave angle is there's not a lot of leeway so you really want to find it 
and lock it in um, because if you go too far one way you won't be shaving at all if you go too too shallow you won't be shaving at all and then if you go too wide it will be quite uncomfortable so really finding that angle which is which is pretty shallow um, it does kind of have the natural curvature kind of like the uh, the vintage chicks how the head is kind of curved uh, all all on its own let me try to hold the handle straight but the head kind of has like a curve to it it does kind of have that natural curvature just like vintage chicks um, and although the head is quite shallow indeed you really want to make sure you're uh, riding the cap almost even though it's a smaller cap definitely want to try to ride the cap and that just means you know this this plate being the cap you kind of want to get it to where it's almost making contact with the skin that's what ride the cap means kind of keep that really narrow shave angle maybe like 10 degrees off the face <clears throat> If you do that you're golden you know what I mean not too much fluctuation with that shave angle if you hold that sweet spot in place you're golden it's gonna give you um, a quite efficient smooth shave it does have uh, you know some medium to medium high blade feel But so long as that sweet spot is being engaged, it's still very comfortable, non-threatening. <clears throat> low pressure. Low pressure is the key. <clears throat> All right, let's get some more lather on the face. I found with the uh, the addition of this double menthol um, menthol dot from Vanillet. It really made this lather more to the kind of medium chill level. Those smaller menthol dots, I think they'll probably be good for like two or three shaves before they're depleted. And the larger ones probably, you know, like six to eight shaves before they're depleted. Uh, depending on, you know, how, how aggressively you use them up, you know, incorporate them into your lather. I try to avoid it. It does. It doesn't make. It doesn't make making the lather harder, but it does. It is hard to. If you put it dead center in your bowl, it's like unless you have a really wide bowl, it's kind of hard to avoid incorporating it. And so, like in my case, I feel like I might. I might over. Incorporate it. You know more than more than I intend to just because there's just no getting away from it I got a 26 20 you know 26 28 millimeter brushes and I don't know how big the bowl is but it's like it's just kind of unavoidable so I think I over incorporate the menthol dot which is totally fine with me because I really enjoy my menthol shaves the menthol maestro after all um, but if you were really trying to make them stretch or if you were trying to incorporate them uh, ever so slightly you might just want to pinch off a piece rather than putting the whole dot on there um, just because it might be you might incorporate more than you intend to otherwise There we 
go. Another design thing about this razor, um, or something that I don't like about the design of this razor, you can see the head, <clears throat> the head kind of extends a little bit past the actual length of the blade. And so I'll like visually be following the line that my razor's making that the head of the razor is making, but that's not necessarily the same spot where the cutting edge is. And so I almost got to go past the beard line in order to touch up the beard line. It's just, it's something small, but something that I definitely don't like. <laughs> it's like Schick injectors aren't known for having overhanging blade tabs so if they could have found a way to make it flush with the edge of the blade I think I would have been uh, a lot more happy with the design if they did that. Going against the grain here, I think it's kind of key to maybe take a couple short choppy strokes just to just to make sure that the, the shave angle is locked in because you'll know, like I was saying, you'll know right away if that angle's off because it'll be uncomfortable. So I think if you start shallow <clears throat> to where, you know, the head of the razor is lying flush on the skin and then you slowly start working it back. <clears throat> and as soon as it feels right, go ahead and lock it in and then make a, you know, longer full stroke. That's what I do. That's what works for me. Just to make sure. Glides great over that residual slickness. Very nice. I can't remember if I did this over here. Gotta really hit every angle on the neck. I have a lot of swirls on the neck. Looks like we're gonna get away with another flawless shave with the Asylum Injector. Um, it really does give an efficient shave like there's no doubt on BBS <clears throat> I think you just got to show this razor respect you know as with all razors but I would say this one isn't your typical cruise control razor this is one that you know you got to kind of be on point make sure your technique is sound and and um, just give it the respect that it deserves because it is a little bit more efficient and if you're not hitting that sweet spot it's going to come across as as quite aggressive so but when you when you dial in that sweet spot and you lock it in very very good um razor oh yeah i just got lather everywhere that was a that was an excellent lather i'm really Really happy with a shaving soap face nowadays. All right, let me grab the Lancaster Black Sheep Towel. And this soap just smells great. It's just a, it's a nice woodsy aquatic. Like I said, I should have, 
I should have prepared the uh, scent notes because I'm sure it's in my little notebook over there, but uh, I guess it's not that big a deal because I've already I've already done a review of Wapiti. So if you wanted to see that uh, information and kind of like the the real first impressions and review of Wapiti, then you can go check out that video that I did previously with the sample of this. Um, either way, it's fantastic soap, nice woodsy aquatic, it has a great label. Um, the soap base is phenomenal. Really don't think you can go wrong with it. And Austin's just a really great dude. I appreciate him for for sending me, you know, the soaps and the uh, the samples that he does. You know, he doesn't have to, but he's just a good guy like that, and he 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 sees me supporting his business, and he he wants to support my YouTube channel, and you know, I just really appreciate that. All right. I do not have a matching aftershave splash yet, so I'm going to go with Purely Skinful Handmade Essentials out of Canada. This one's called Pacifica, and this is another kind of woodsy aquatic. It definitely smells different than Wapiti, um, but it's complimentary for sure. And there's the ingredients. This is a Witch Hazel aftershave. This is basically my favorite uh, aftershave product industry standard quality restrictor right there it's a damn shame that purely skinful closed their their website and now they're pretty much exclusively making stuff for stonefield shaving which is a online uh, retailer in canada um, and of course if you're in the states or elsewhere you can still buy from them you're just gonna have those shipping charges it is what it is Purely Skinful is good stuff. Um, so if you're if you're looking for Purely Skinful, you can still find some Purely Skinful on uh, Stonefield wet shaving or Stonefield shaving, I should say. There we go. And that no burn whatsoever. It's just a real soothing aftershave. Goes on kind of thick, but once it soaks into the skin, it leaves your skin feeling nice and supple. This is a beautiful uh, woodsy aquatic scent as well. All right. That'll do it for the shave. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Thank you, Austin, for sending me the soap. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.